Alexander A. Manzoni, and I'm out here in Idaho, and I'm going to read some poetry. Hot summer, hot afternoon in Idaho. Hot summer, hot afternoon in Idaho. Post Falls, seated in camping chair by a river nearby, a decadent manse, and a blue-green murky lagoon. Summertime's end. Waves elicited by boats and personal watercraft lightly crash against terminally exposed tree roots. Smoke still a haze against the landscape from fires still ablaze somewhere else, somewhere west, somewhere north. Though noxious, not doth the air seem to my lungs, tis hot. The air of compact toaster ovens and hair dryers on light setting. The gentle waves are an enervation of lassitude brought forth upon the senses of eye. Heated expansion of air threatens the inflatable pink flamingo. And my lover's sensitive Caucasian freckled skin and her friends, though not nearly as much, they take leave to leap from rocks as I remain to write and take in an unfamiliar environment though unfamiliar or though familiar enough to the east coast rivers that I find myself hearkening back to moments now lost to sand this reemergence is it superfluous or is it an example of rote verisimilitude Sophia, she excitedly waves, bobbing in the water out to my left. While children play and laugh, cloud in floaties, they fill and dump out colorful plastic buckets. American summertime, doth the sun ever shine so brightly, so luminous and blazing, after images emblazoned as opaque portraits, stamps, and wriggling visual worms excite me. The hours turn as do the days. The seasons do not stay because they're ultimately always in motion. Locomotion, transition, transitory. Another moment presents itself upon the darkened well. As more arrive and spread out, it becomes more crowded still and the voices rise up and against each other, child, teen, adult alike. They're all having fun the American way. Interpret that as you may. An iPhone drops into the clouded water, kerplunk. A scramble ensues to retrieve it and its contents, personal so precious to whomever lost it so. Concerns be had for the posting of unauthorized pictures to the digitized, omnipresent though invisible sphere of internet influence. Is there congruence in our lives between each other? Yes, not so much so with others. And it is they who are that much more numerous. Hot afternoon, is the heat getting to me? I don't think so, though I am glad that I wore sunblock. My feet, they are yearning for shade. Yet instead, I continue writing into the day. Hot summer, hot afternoon in Idaho, and I don't know what's about to happen. Maybe ask the inflatable flamingo. Thank you.